Good evening, everyone. Amidst many speculations that the Nobel Peace Prize for the year 2023 would go to Volodymyr Zelensky, it has went to an Iranian woman activist by the name of Nargis Mohammadi. This is a tribute to Mahasa Amini, who lost her life allegedly by beatings of the morality police. We are going to talk about the morality police and how the morality police is back in Iran. From the perspective of your examination, specifically prelims, it is important to understand it all. Do not worry about making notes because the notes are provided through my telegram channel by the name of Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries regarding this examination, talk to me on my Instagram and follow me on threads. So an Iranian activist by the name of Nargis Mohammadi, she has won the Nobel Peace Prize for the current year, 2023, for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. At least the fourth Nobel laureate she has become to be chosen for this honor while still behind the bars. Also, she is currently serving a 10-year jail sentence in Tehran's Erwin prison, even prison, for spreading anti-state propaganda. She has peacefully managed to have sit in protest even when she is behind the bars. She has been convicted five times and she has been still fighting even at a cost of living away from her children and husband and parents, of course. She has 30 years of activism career. Also, she has peacefully, she has always strived to peacefully bring grassroots changes to Iran through education, advocacy, civil disobedience, and to strengthen civil society. Tahi Rahmani, who is her fellow activist, also her husband, along with her twin children, who are 16 years of age, they are living in France in exile. Moving on, she is the second Iranian woman to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. The first one who was awarded so was Shirin Ebadi, that was in 2003, and she is a human rights lawyer, also a colleague and friend of Nargis Mohammadi, because they both have worked together in Defenders of Human Rights Center. It was founded by Ms. Ebadi in 2001, which was actually closed down in 2009, in violent raids in Iran. Now, Mahsa Amini, in September last year, 2022, she lost her life. Why? Because she was not wearing her hijab properly. Wearing hijab has been a mandate since the year 1983 in Iran. And there is a police by the name of Morality Police that looks after certain acts, such as are women wearing their hijab properly or not, because hair is not supposed to be seen an outside area in Islam. In certain Islamic countries, morality police is a thing. It's not only specific to Iran. So what happens when they see her without hijab, maybe her hijab went a little down uh, or her head, co head cover went a little down, she was taken away by the morality police. While the morality police says that she died because of certain pre-existing medical conditions, there have been even enough evidence that she was beaten by the morality police and she died later on. So what is the morality police? Morality police is actually by the name of Gasht e Irshad, which is meaning guidance patrol. It is not only specific to Iran, but other Islamic countries in Africa and the Middle East. Now, this is a unit of Iran's police force. It was established under the former high, hardline president, Mahmoud Ahmad Nijad. So this particular police looks after certain things, such as drinking alcohol, social mixing of unrelated men and women, it is prohibited, sex outside of marriage, sex between people of the same gender, skipping prayers, wearing types of dress which are deemed immodest. This is actually retaliated by certain types of fines, regular fines and sometimes imprisonment as well as traditional Sharia-based sentences such as caning and in some countries death by stoning, although this is very rare. And the morality police is back in Iran. We know that the death after the death of the Mahasa Amini, there were large scale protests in Iran by women, men, and even teenage boys. In here, women defiantly set, uh, setting their headscarves on fire was seen. Publicly, they used to, you know, take out their scarves from their heads and then they lit fire, lit it on fire. Then they also used to cut their hair in public. Among the many important chants and raises, such as women, life, freedom, and death to the dictator referring to the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Even school girls gave un unprecedented support, not only school girls, but teenage boys and men also joined it. At least 500 people, these are conservative figures, 500 people have been killed 
in the entire process the authoritative nature of iran of course came down with a heavy hand on it he suppressed it oppressed it violently killing many people and the morality police as i am telling you is bad see teen girl in coma after run in with morality police in tehran according to report so it's a tribute to mehsa amini and so many lives that have been lost in the entire process moving on let's talk about a very important woman because this is a woman laureate and we have had very few women laureate you have to tell me in the comment segment taking this year's figure how many women have won the nobel prize not just peace everything else as well so marie curie is still the only woman to have won the prize twice once in 1903 in physics and 1911 for chemistry moving on let's talk about this prelims question that you have to answer in the comment segment if you answer it correctly i will take your names in the upcoming class who of the following women have not won the nobel peace prize nargis mohammadi malala yousafzai shiri nebadi gezna sholki okay tell me in the comment segment wait let me take the names of those students who have answered my last question correctly i asked a question about the black sea okay option b was correct here shubham has answered it correctly riya barkha lalit simran and samiten i hope samit i am going to call you samit okay thank you so much for answering the last question answer this one as well